Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a spring cleaning of Penelope's nursery as well as a little basic cleaning in my kitchen. So that's what I'm starting with. Let's jump right in. Okay, so it is the weekend and Tone is home so he's hanging with Penelope. We just had breakfast so what I'm going to be doing here is just cleaning up what's left over from breakfast. T Tone did cook and he cleaned up the dishes and stuff but I'm just going to go ahead and just give the kitchen a quick little clean up. Once I'm done cleaning P's high chair, I'm going to go ahead and start with some dishes. I'm using the new Miss Myers Spring Scent in Mint and I am so obsessed with it. It smells delicious. Definitely not what I expected, but definitely better than what I expected. Does that make sense? Tone is obsessed with it. He used it to clean the interior of his car. He like absolutely loves it and you could get this kit for free and it comes with the dish soap the hand soap and the multi-surface cleaner plus a dish towel for free when you sign up with Grove and if you are already a Grove customer you will still get the walnut um, sponges that I use all the time however you need to get this scent because it smells so good so whether you're a new customer or you are already a customer make sure you grab one of these because they smell delicious they also have two more scents which i am waiting for one of them because i've heard really good things about it but so far i'm in love with this and tone is too i know i have like five bottles here <laughs> you would think that i have twins and i don't but it's because yesterday, I'm going to be honest, I did not wash one bottle. I just left them there. I just hate washing bottles. Is anybody else with me? Like, I love these Dr. Brown bottles, but they have so many pieces. They're just a pain in the butt to wash. I always, always give the sink a quick scrubbing once I'm done with dishes. And I feel like this really helps you keep your sink shiny for years. Now with the counters, I'm just going to go ahead with a damp chamois and just wipe them down. Make sure there's no food stuck to it because we did cook dinner. And then I'm just going to use the mint multi-surface spray and a microfiber towel from Grove. And I'm just going to go ahead and wipe them down. So the way we clean the stove is usually whoever cooks or cleans up uh, will go in with a sponge and soap and just make sure there's no food stuck to the stove or anything like that. And then when we're cleaning the counters, we'll spray it with the multi-surface cleaner and wipe it down. That's what I'm doing right now. And then I will give it a polish with a glass top polish, but because it's so early in the day and I am probably going to be cooking lunch soon, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I'll give it a polish late at night after we clean up dinner. How do you guys feel about my all camo outfit? <laughs> I know this might be too much for some people, but I mean, I'm so extra that I figure it will be good. And it is seriously the most comfortable sweatsuit ever. I mean, you guys know I love sweats and I do love a good camo. So mixed together, they're heavenly. <laughs> and this whole suit was I think under $25. I linked it in the description box in case you guys want to check it out. But it's seriously so comfy and I could use the pieces separate. And the sweats are high waisted, which I love. But I just wanted to mention that because I figure someone would ask me, like, why in the world are you wearing all camo? But I actually love it. I do. Okay, so once all the dishes 
that I washed are put away. I'm just going to go ahead and take care of the island. Again, just wiping it down with the multi-surface cleaner. And then once we're done here, we're going to go ahead and move on to the deep cleaning that I'm doing in Penelope's room. This is the Grove apron you get with your free kit and I love these because they're so big and they're just nice and thick and they really dry dishes so well. So I just wanted to show it to you guys. So in Penelope's room I'm starting by just making her bed and putting a few things away. Yesterday we finally put her mattress down which was a nightmare um, but we did it and we also went ahead and changed her sheets and I also washed her bumper. This caddy just has everything that I'll be using in Penelope's room, that way I don't have to run in and out of the room looking for stuff. So because this is a deep clean, I'm just going to go ahead and take down all the books from the shelves. This one is one of my favorites, I linked it down below for you guys because I love it so much. But I'm taking all the books shelf by shelf so I know how they go back in because there's so many of them, it's like a puzzle putting them back in. But I am just dusting the shelves with the Swiffer duster and then wiping them down with the multi-surface cleaner. And then I also wipe down the books before I put them back in. And I only do this when I'm doing a deeper clean, the rest of the time I just go and kind of just clean them with the Swiffer. Um, duster but I also wanted to say that I get so many questions on these bookshelves and they are actually spice racks from Ikea uh, they're like four dollars a piece they come in natural wood color and you could go ahead and paint them or you could leave them like this I painted mine white and gold and I really love the way they turn out and they hold a lot of books and they're just cute and simple and cheap Once all the bookshelves are clean, which was probably the most annoying part of cleaning her room, I'm moving on to the small table I have here and just wiping it down with the multi-surface cleaner as well as the lamp and all the objects that are on top of it. Onto the window area, I am moving this chair, which I haven't moved out of here in so long. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Swiffer duster to clean the blinds. And I am pretty much cleaning one by one with the duster because they were pretty dusty. And again, this is a spring clean, so you got to do it right. Okay, I like cleaning those blinds was pretty annoying too, <laughs> but now that is done I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down the window with the Grove glass concentrate I'm also using the mint spray on the genie and just wiping it down. I seriously just want to spray everything with this spray because it smells so good. Mm -hmm. 
once I'm done with the window and everything is wiped down I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum this corner just so I can put everything back in its place Last, before I put everything in its place, I'm just using the multi-surface spray and the towel to wipe down all the baseboards in the area before I put everything back. Moving on to the changing table slash dresser area, first thing I do is take off the old pad cover and then I'm just going to go ahead and empty out this basket, get everything off and wipe everything down. First I'm using the Swiffer duster just to get off any dust that might be laying around and then I'm going in with the 7 generation wood cleaner and then just spraying everything down and wiping it down. For the mirror all I'm doing is dusting it off and using the glass cleaner. Once this is all done I'll put a new pad cover and then I'll just go ahead and finish cleaning the rest of the dresser. For the rest of the dresser I sprayed my towel with a little bit of the multi-surface cleaner and then I am also just spraying the actual dresser with some of the 7 generation wood cleaner and then wiping it down. Now that the dresser is done, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down this small shelf that I have here and for that I am just using the wood cleaner. Now that all the surfaces are clean, I'm just going to go ahead and focus on the stuff that are laying on the floor. I am vacuuming a little bit of this little sheep just because she doesn't get clean very often. And it's not that Pete even uses it at this point, but dust collects on anything. So I just like to give it a quick vacuum and then just move everything out of the area, clean the baseboards and vacuum before I put everything back. The Swiffer Duster Extender comes in handy for all those spots that I can reach and that I'm too lazy to go get a ladder for. <laughs> and again, I'm just using the multi-surface cleaner and a towel just to clean the doorknobs and a little bit of the doors, the places where I see collects a lot of dust. Moving on to the other side of the room, I'm pretty much doing the same thing, vacuuming this huge bear which just sits there and I'm sure collects a lot of dust. So I'm just giving it a quick vacuum, getting him out of the way, cleaning the baseboards here and vacuuming that area as well. This guy is seriously as big as me. <laughs>
and again because this is a spring clean I'm gonna go ahead and move Penelope's crib out of the way so I could go ahead and vacuum behind there which I should have done yesterday when we had the whole crib put apart but I didn't because I was just so frustrated with trying to get this crib put together before bedtime which we failed at <laughs> but right now I'm doing it just moved it out of the way and went ahead and vacuumed behind it and now I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down all the crib with the just with the towel which already has some product on it once that's done I'm just giving that area a quick vacuum and then I am moving on to the entrance of her room which there's a couple of decorations there I wanted to clean as well tone has some good music on right now Penelope's probably dancing because she loves music as you guys know so I'm just here enjoying the music and just cleaning here I just use the glass cleaner for this little glass frame I have and then the multi-surface cleaner for everything else How cute is this dream catcher my mom made pee for Christmas? It's so cute. Again, just wiping down her door, the doorknobs and wherever does my collect. And once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and gather everything and get it out of the room and then just finish vacuuming the room. Seeing those lines on the rug really bring joy to my life. <laughs> Just when I thought I was done, I realized that I didn't clean the baseboards on this area, so no matter as well clean them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe them down and also vacuum this little area because I don't think I did before. So that is it for Penelope's room cleaning, spring cleaning. And because I was just putting away the vacuum, I decided to just give the kitchen a quick vacuuming because it always needs it and I wanted to show you my attachment you could put away the canister and then grab this attachment which is what I always use on the tiles a lot of you ask me if this is a microfiber towel and it is it came with the vacuum you could just go ahead and put it on it has velcro to hold it in place and then it's great for wood floors or tiles or anything and you could also just throw it in the washer when you're done and they do sell the refills online as well Dance party. All right, guys, that is it for today. I'm just finishing the other side of the kitchen, and that is it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. I love to hear what you do for spring cleaning. I like to do a room at a time just so I don't get so overwhelmed. Plus, I have Penelope so it's not like I just have tons of time to get into everything in the house so let me know what you do I hope you subscribe if you haven't yet please give it a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you next time bye